accepting now that the, the water utility exists. Uh, it's set out in legislation. I suppose our first anxiety around that utility is that it is it remains in public hands. Uh, we know that there are some who would wish to see it privatised. Um, we would be very much opposed to that. We're not proposing to um, dismantle or take down Irish water. It, God knows it has been a very a mightily expensive endeavour to put it in place. The commitment that we are making to people is that in paying for your water supply, that that will be done as it has been traditionally done through a blend of exchequer funding um, okay. and, of course, non-domestic water charges. Because let's just be clear, it's not as though you were living in a society where water hasn't been paid for and then moving to a new regime where it is paid for. The water service was always paid for. It was, it was always paid, paid for, for, for by the tax. Absolutely. Yeah, the tax by the tax paid for and the what, what we're opposing is two things, Jonathan. On the one hand, a system of double taxation where you get hit twice in your general taxes and then by this stealth charge. Um, okay. And we're, we're also opposing the really obnoxious attitude of this government uh, who claim on the one hand that they're going to deliver a soft, neutral budget to people but who are insisting, irrespective, I mean, blind to people's uh, ability to pay, that they're going to land this additional uh, bill on their mast. What we're saying is very simply that water, like other basic services, has to be provided, has to be paid for, and that that is appropriately borne by us collectively as a community and a society in respect of the general taxation. Okay, so and higher, ta funding, higher general taxation. If, and can I say to you, Jonathan, Jonathan... No, no, I just, can you just answer that question? Is it higher general taxation is going to pay for this under well, the, the your, Sinn your Fein Well, your listeners will be aware that we have made a number of proposals over very many budgetary cycles in respect of the taxation code. One of those is that we have, we believe that there is scope for um, tax increases at the higher end. Um, the problem, the say, problem is we talked to Jerry Adams. No, we, we talked to Jerry Adams about this yesterday, and I know the point you're going to make is that we have you have the proposal for the wealth tax, and the issue for you is that they no, won't that's not cost this what for I was you. Going to say, but that's not what I was going to say, Jonathan. Go so on, sorry, if, that's if what Jerry mind. suggested. You go on. Well, no, go what, on. well, that's fine, and and Jerry is right. We have we have proposals for a wealth tax. What I was actually going to tell you, Jonathan, is that um, like other parties, we would be bringing forward our pre-budget uh, submission and plan. We'll be launching that within the next 10 days or so. And in it, we will set out how the books are balanced um, in the absence of charging for water and in the absence of landing a tax on the family home. And we will set that out. And by the way, we don't live in cloud cuckoo land. We live in the real world along with all of the communities and families and workers and individuals that we represent. And we know that things have to be paid for.